Lavelle here from Fine Curly Hair. I am here to talk about Diva Girl Super Firm. So, I thought this stuff would be the holy grail of all hair product because I have heard so many good results about it. So many people are incorporating it in their daily routine and so I wanted to jump on the bag wagon and, you know, try it out. I just recently started getting into Diva Girl products. Overall, I like the product, but I realized that I still get really frizzy hair, so I thought that maybe this would solve the problems. I've only used it two times, so that's why I kind of want to give you guys a first impression about my results and what I learned from it. Um, so, first time I tried this stuff, it was amazing! This actually is a picture of the first time I tried it, guys. I tried it and I got so many compliments. So many people were like touching my hair and like, wow, your hair's great. And I loved it. I loved the attention. I loved and I thought that it was worth the $28 that I spent on it. And I was like, wow, like I really like it. Um, my curls were really defined, really moisturized, and I only applied it to the halo of my hair because it actually says that on the back. It says that if you're going to use it and if you have uh, if your curls are fine to medium, rub the product between your palms and smooth over your curls. So to me, that was just the halo of my curls. And then it said if you have thick hair, to apply it in sections for, for full coverage. And I don't have thick hair. So I was like, well, I don't have thick hair, so I'm not going to, you know, spread it apart and apply it to each strand type thing. I'm just going to do the halo. So that's what I did. I also used um, one other Diva Curl product with it and it's like a the Volma, frizz free volumizing foam and I didn't use that much so great awesome results loved it it was amazing but then I did it the second time and, uh, horrible it was so so bad I wanted to cry it was so bad take off the fancy lighting and this is exactly how my hair looks see how dead it looks really undefined curls. Um, so I did it the same exact method, same exact amount, everything like that, and I got the worst results ever. Like, my hair was extremely way down, um, especially on the roots of my hair, even though I put the clips in, it was extremely way down. Um, still extremely, like, dirty looking and rat netty and just gross. It was so gross. And I was so frustrated because I'm like, what did I do wrong? I did the same exact thing. It should be consistent, but it's not. That's that's something that I've heard a few times is that it's just really inconsistent. Um, I did watch a few more videos. Maybe it was the way I was applying it. And I saw that some people were sectioning their hair and... Um, gliding it over the hair that way. So even though I don't have thick hair, I think I'm gonna try it that way tomorrow because tomorrow is wash day. And I will put it with this video and hopefully it helps you guys out. So we'll see, wish me luck. So I decided to fast forward through all of this just because I kind of felt like I was like saying the same thing over and over and nobody wants to be bored like that. Um, but basically what I decided to do is I decided to do the method that everyone was talking about where you split your hair. So I split it into fours. I had two in the front, two in the back, and right here I am just gliding it through just like the bottle states to do. And I'm actually going to do it to both sides of my hair. So I really wanted to evenly distribute it and like give it the best shot, you know, possible. So it's about two pumps per side. And it does smell really good. That's actually what I'm saying right here is that it smells like tropical and like you went to a beach. So there's no complaints on the actual smell of the product. It's just the product itself and its inconsistency. But right here again, like you guys can see, I just wanted to show you guys that I really, really, really put it all over my hair. Two pumps again on both sides. After I applied the product pretty evenly throughout my hair, I went ahead and I used a cotton t-shirt to get that really extra moisture out. Um, my hair does take about four hours to dry, so the cotton t-shirt really helps. 
Um, I also did some of the clipping on my roots. This is actually my favorite part just because my roots lay flat against my head. So I love, love, love my clips. After the clipping, I went ahead and I did put my hair up um, in a cotton t-shirt as well for about 10 minutes and then I allowed my hair to air dry for that four hour mark. Hey, I am back. It's been about eight hours. I did not want to just do a review like the normal ones where you, after your hair dries, you show it and it's like amazing. I wanted to show you guys if my hair stood the test of time. It didn't. Um, I kind of already knew that was going to happen based on my previous review. You guys are kind of getting the gist of it. It's very inconsistent with the results. Um, after three hours, I had like a gel cast, which was weird because I didn't put any gel in my hair. So I needed to shake it up. I had to shake it off, shake it off. Um, and that created some frizz. And then I waited another hour and half of this side of my hair um, had gotten really straight and was like almost like a, I don't know, an uncombed ball. Like it was like just all frizz and it looked matty and weird. So I needed to put water in my hair and then I needed to apply frizz free balmanizing foam. So I don't think this product can stand on its own two feet. I think that if you're going to use it, you have to use it with something else. And even then, it may not turn out the way you're expecting it to. So I probably give this 2.5 out of 5 stars. Um, don't expect it to be the one product that rules all products. Um, but hey, it might work for your hair. Every hair is different. This is my review. Thank you guys for staying with me throughout all of this time. And um... You guys have a good one.